Jacob Saunders, Executive Vice President at Atmosera, says, Robust identity and access management in Azure is the cornerstone of cloud security. Protecting your data starts with controlling who can access it. However, you have more than one choice on how to do this. That's why this audio blog will compare the pros and cons of Azure Service Principle versus Managed Identity. First, let's discuss Azure Service Principle. Its pros include full control, allowing customization and management to suit your unique needs. It offers flexibility to adapt to changing requirements and programmability for automation, reducing manual effort. As for the cons, you're responsible for security, which can be challenging. There's no automatic rotation for resources, and it's dependent on Azure, so any Azure issues can affect your operations. Now, let's explore Azure Managed Identity. Its advantages are automatic management, including tasks like credential rotation, which enhances security. It's secure by design and can be scoped to specific resources for better control. However, its scope is limited to Azure. You also have less control over your resources, and it may not support all applications. If you're considering a transition from service principle to managed identity, here are the steps. One, evaluate your current service principle setup. Two, create a new managed identity, choosing between system assigned or user assigned based on your needs. Three, assign necessary roles and permissions. Four, update your applications to use the new managed identity. Five, test thoroughly. Six, monitor performance using tools like Azure Monitor. 7. Decommission the old service principle, revoking all permissions. Whether you're transitioning to managed identity or sticking with service principle, Atmosera can help. We provide guidance and support in security and identity management. Reach out today for assistance.